stepping outside of your comfort zone uh, for tech. So I want to talk about something that I feel is important um, when you're in a tech repair shop and you know you first have to start doing what you're good at. So if it's Mac repairs, if you're an Apple authorized shop, if you just do Windows, um, I know a lot of phone shops, all you, you know, basically just doing iPhone screen replacements, port replacements, whatever it might be, um, which is good. But I implore you to basically look at what customers are demanding. Like, what were they looking for? You know, are there inquiries that you're passing on that you shouldn't? So I bring this up because we first started out as a PC shop. Um, and then we learned that, you know, which is pretty natural, when the computers fail, people need their files, so we started to get into data recovery. After that, um, all those, like, to be honest with you, scary, we started doing Macs. And why scary? Just because we, we did all Windows, we did all PCs. I'm a Windows guy myself, I got my MCSE certifications and everything, and, and so Apple was like a foreign world uh, to me. But then, you know, that was sort of, you know, where we were headed. So we got into Apple. So through the years, we were looking at all, all these requests and you know, we basically just let it come naturally to us. There were um, years that you know, people brought in these funky big computers with water coolers and, and all this stuff inside. And we're like, we're not touching that. Like we have no clue. There's so many different vendors, you know, different parts. Like we have no clue. We, have, we don't know how to support this. And today we've, you know, on our probably, I don't know, seventh eighth year of custom pc repairs and builds and and so we basically you know stepped outside of our comfort zone in order to really just take on these customs and and why um a few reasons not just you know making a dollar but it allows us not to be bored you know every year um maybe every half a year we look for something new and you know it keeps not just us excited but you know, keeps our techs excited, keeps like our front desk excited, um, you know, and customers see that hey, we have something new. We're staying up with the times. So like all around, it's a good thing. So it modernizes your company. Um, it shows that you care, you're, you're tech passionate, and you're doing something new. And yeah, you know, it does help. You know, the bottom line to a certain degree if you do it right. But um, overall, if you can accept many buckets of tech and support and and you know ergo revenue great do it so you know when you're looking at your tech offerings I'd, I'd advise to not just look at what you do and what's out there but if you're that person that's answering the phone or you know receiving the customer at the front desk great you already have a pulse of what's going on if not ask whoever's answering the phone ask who's you know bringing in the customers what do they hear what do they see you know, are there new um, inquiries that are brought up? Recently for us, it's been gaming. So we've been doing a little bit more of, you know, gaming consoles. Um, you know, we upgrade SSDs uh, to SSDs on, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, an Xbox or have a PlayStation. And so, you know, things like that. So we're starting to, you know, have more of a specialty with that. Um, obviously you wanna make sure it makes sense. So if somebody comes in with, uh, you know, a switch and it's, uh, I don't know, a controller or if somebody just brings in an Xbox controller and it's like oh, maybe no. just a button that's not working. You know, it might be more time to fix that and more of a cost to fix that than replacing that whole actual, you know, um, controller itself. So you just wanna make sure it makes sense, obviously. I mean, it's it's fun to be passionate about something, but end of the day, you, you wanna make sure that it makes sense business-wise. Um, but yeah, I, I recommend Take a look, ask your office, um, ask even customers, what is it that we have? If you have long-standing customers um, that like to yap and talk and, and you know, ask you more about your business and your company, ask them, hey, look, you know, we do this, that, and the other. What would you like us to do more? Are there other companies you go to that, you know, because we can't do what you want us to do? Like if you go to another company because they do phone repair or, um, they do programming or they do web design and you know if you have the capability to do that I would go to you so you just want to look at you know other outlays other things that you can work with that not only will you know you know help you business wise but also you know it really diversifies you and it shows your customers that you can do it you have the knowledge 
um, and they're gonna have more confidence in you. They're gonna have more confidence that, hey, look, nothing gets by you. You know, you can fix this, that, and the other. Obviously, you wanna be good at it. You don't wanna be like uh, a jack of all trades type of person. You wanna have good specialties and stay within those realms. So, you know, if you're gonna do something, do it right. You know, don't just be like a basic generalist at it or else that's gonna make you look bad. But you know, gotta start somewhere. You have to like get experience with it. Uh, so yeah, uh, hopefully that helps in terms of, you know, offerings, what you could do. Uh, any questions, let me know, leave it in the comments. Uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care.